For the past 20 years, Alex Jones has hosted radio and internet shows. He's on 150 radio stations. He has 8 million people who visit his websites every single month, and he has a billion views on YouTube. He's basically like the Gangnam style of the far right. <laughs> and to his millions of followers, he's always been this guy. I, I, I know all of this. I know they're spraying us every day. I know they're spraying my family. I know we're all filled with heavy metals. The UN says, if you don't play ball with them, they'll just spray you and, and shut down your weather. I'm broken out of the trance. I'm angry. I'm freaked out. I'm going, my God, they're terraforming. My God, sodium fluoride in the water. My God, they, they funded Hitler. My, you know, I am, I understand what's going on. I read their eugenics documents. The hair on the back of my neck standing up right now. I want to warn you, they should all arrest them. Arrest the bankers. They're robbing God. I can't believe it. Yeah, so he's a pretty chilled out guy. Pretty. <laughs> That guy's freaking out. You know what? People who freak out about chemtrails are the funniest thing ever. What are the planes doing? What are they spraying in the air? What are they spraying? It's water vapor. <laughs> what, do you look at clouds and then be like, what is that? Poison bombs in the sky? What are those things in the... Why is that giraffe floating? What's happening there? <laughs> this guy must be so terrified every time he takes a shower. Like, opens the water, he's like, oh, no, the poison dust is coming out of the vents. What's happening? Like, <laughs> I don't know who this person is, and, and I'm gonna tell you something that's probably gonna shock you. Uh, a little while ago, Alex Jones's wife divorced him. I know, I know, people. I know, I know it's crazy to think someone would leave that. <laughs> now, it gets even crazier, because she also thinks that for some reason, he shouldn't have custody of their children. <laughs> which means, now he has to go to court. <laughs> which means... The InfoWars host in a legal battle for custody of his children. His lawyers say the fire breather on the web isn't the real Alex Jones, that he, quote, is playing a character, that he's a performance artist. All, all right, let me, let, me, let me stop you right there. You're not a performance artist, okay? Jugglers are performance artists. <laughs> right, and they also shouldn't have custody of their children. But still, <laughs> but still, they are artists. Alex Jones is a fake. Which, by the way, people have a right to be. 50 Cent, be a billionaire. Hulk Hogan, have a massive penis. The problem with Alex Jones, the problem with Alex Jones is that his act has real consequences, right? His fans don't think he's acting. When he says 9-11 was a government conspiracy, or when he says mass shootings are fake, or when he says there's a pizza shop in D.C. full of pedophiles, which is a real thing he said, by the way, his fans want to do something about it. One InfoWars fan even armed himself, went to that pizza shop, and shot at people. And on top of that, mother didn't even tip. <laughs> now, the scariest thing about Alex Jones is that that fan only had one gun. One of his biggest fans has an entire army. You're saying you're fully committed, you know, there's no future if we don't take this country back. Donald Trump, I really? hope you can help uncripple America. You'll be looking at me in a year, in a year or two years. Let's give me a little bit of a time to, to run things. But uh, a year into office, you'll be saying, wow, I remember that interview. He said he was gonna do it, and he did a great job. You'll be very proud of him. Do you love me now, Daddy? <laughs> do you love me now? Do you see me, Daddy? You know what's, what's strange is now I, I see why Donald Trump has always liked Alec Jones. Yeah, they're basically doing the same thing. Trump is also a character who whips people up with whatever provocative bull works. And then when it suits him, he steps away. You know, uh, drain the swamp! Drain the swamp, folks! We're gonna drain the swamp! <laughs> and then he gets in, and then these people, and he's like, yeah, who cares? Who cares? <laughs> On the campaign, he's like, China is raping us on trade, everybody! And then all of a sudden, he goes, President China ate my cake. It's cool. <laughs> We're good now. Like, maybe, you know what? Maybe Trump is also a performance artist. Maybe this is all a scab. Maybe if he went to court, it would come out. Like, wouldn't that be crazy to find out that Donald Trump the entire time has been somebody else? <laughs> like, at the White House, he's making speeches outside, like, and what we're gonna do with the wall, we're gonna make sure... And then he goes inside and he sits down next to Melania, and then Melania's like, what's wrong, Donald? <laughs> you seem stressed today. <laughs> and he's like, oh, my God, Melania, the people are just... <laughs> That's so insufferable, Melania. I just... I really can't handle it. I mean... Why do they keep... I, I try everything. I just... <laughs> you know, sometimes I wonder if, I, if I'm gonna keep on doing... I just, like, oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hello? 
Fox News, yeah, yeah. This is what I'm gonna do about the Mexicans. Okay, bye-bye now. I'm like, they're just the worst. They really are. <laughs> just the worst. Call me a possibility. <laughs> and that man is a fan of Alex Jones. So look, at the end of the day, Alex Jones may not get his children back, but at least he has custody of the most powerful child in the world. Hello? Mr. President, how are you? Yes, of course. Oh, you want me to let people know they can watch full episodes of The Daily Show for free anytime with the Comedy Central app or at thedailyshow.com? Yes, of course. Yes, I know I'm fake news. All right, love you too. Bye-bye.